Hey guys, and welcome back to another RuneScape 3 money making guide video. Today we are going to be crafting Dragonstone jewelry, specifically necklaces, because I think those hold the best value due to the demand for them. This method is definitely geared towards lower level accounts that don't have access to better, higher level methods. This method requires level 72 crafting and gives roughly 176,000 XP per hour with no boosts which can help a player level crafting towards 99 and beyond while making decent money. So to start, you will need to have the Family Crest quest done in order to store gold bars in the furnaces across Gilinor. And the new Foundations quest is a must in order to access Fort Ferenthry. Alternatively, there are furnaces close to banks in Falador, Lumbridge, and Edgeville. However, if you skill in Fort Ferenthry, you gain rested experience if you have the Town Hall built, which will give you bonus XP when you redeem it. Alright, so, we are over here in the workshop next to Bill. Um, if you've never been to Fort Frenthry, if you're new to it, the lodestone is located right here. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to be using this furnace to smelt, not to smelt, but to craft uh, dragonstone necklaces specifically. So, um, I have a thousand gold bars in there right now, um, I'm just doing a quick test for you guys to show you. So, um, if you don't, if you're not able to store gold bars in the furnace because you don't have the family crest quest done, um, you can make a preset with 14 dragon stones and 14 gold bars, and it'll just take you a little extra time to get through them, but the m GP per hour is still over four and a half mil close to five mil um but for the rest of us what we're going to be doing is you're going to be loading up your inventory with dragon stones i'm going to go ahead and make a preset we'll just cover over override that one um and you'll just run over to smelt make sure to click on gold bars dragon stone necklace begin project so i have pulse cores on me right now while i'm doing this so i'm getting a lot more experience um for each one than base experience would be <clears throat> but this method is roughly 176,000 crafting XP per hour um, with boosts I think the most I was able to get up to was about 380,000 per hour so um, that's with pulse cores that's with the um, plus 50 percent experience bomb um, but that's without bonus XP so I guess if you had bonus XP and pulse cores, you can get up to 350,000 XP per hour. Um, so I already made a couple of these. Of course, I make them for Signs of the Porter 7s um, while I'm doing archaeology. Uh, so I just kind of stumbled upon this method as it was a heck of a lot easier to make them this way. But yeah, so let me uh, let me make this 1,000 of them and I'll show you what I paid for them and how much I'm able to sell them for. So. I will be right back. Alright, one thing that's also super convenient with one of the newer updates is you don't need to open your bank and press the preset button. You can actually, if you just right click the bank, load last preset, makes it even quicker. So you can be, you can be crafting these and then as soon as you're done you just right click, load last preset, gives you the full inventory again. So that's how fast you're able to do these. So you might even get more than, I think 1,680 is the average created per hour, but I mean, I think, I don't think this takes eight seconds to run back and click here and continue, so, but just uh, another tip when you're doing this. Another important item set if you're uh, going for experience gains per hour is the Artisan's outfit um, I believe this is a reward from the stealing creations mini game uh, which I actually find super entertaining and I, I love that mini game in this but um, yeah so you're able to get the artisans outfit gives you a plus six percent um, experience when crafting so at base level with no bonus XP no boosts no nothing you're getting an extra 6.3 which does add up we'll just do this a little while longer, load last preset. Super easy. Very AFK. 50 seconds between inventories, so you're able to just kind of, you know, if you're doing something on the side or whatnot. 
All right. <clears throat> so I'm wrapping up the last 20 from the 1,000 that I was doing here. It's been just a little over 30 minutes. Um, so we're definitely looking at probably closer to 2,000 an hour, more than the uh, what the wiki guide says. But and I know. <clears throat> so all the dragon stones I was able to buy for, I think it was 4.1, almost 4.2 mil for a thousand dragon stones, and then it was 1.6 mil for the 1,000 gold bars. So a total of 5.8 mil for 1,000 of these. So let me take 1,000. Let's head off to the max guild. We'll sell these. So this was half an hour of work, we'll just, we'll say. And just for the, the history there, showed 1,004.195, and then these two were combined for, anyway. <clears throat> so we will sell for mid. They should instant sell for higher. So 9.6 mil instead of 8.9. So again, these are in high demand due to people needing the signs of the porters so 9.6 and that's only for half an hour so it's roughly four mil profit yeah it was 5.872 and 9.8 so almost exactly four mil profit um so we're talking eight mil an hour and two it's more like 180,000 crafting xp an hour so if you had bonus xp it'd be 360,000 XP an hour, 8 mil profit, so uh, really not a bad method, and especially if you are closer to level 72 crafting, or if you're within the 80s, uh, you'll be getting a, a level or two every couple hours, or every hour, so definitely check it out, um, they're definitely going to be in high demand due to the fact that people such as myself are making Signs of the Porter 7s, so I so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Go out there and make some gains, get those crafting levels, make that GP, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.